And I love this project that AT Ministries has done and the Heart to Heart event because it gives artists um, the ability to create with the kids and to inspire them to you know, paint and to draw and to find an outlet for themselves through this hard time. It gives us a, a little way to help them and I think that's what's really neat about it is it's fun for the kids to learn to create and to express themselves and to make things for other people. They can make it for their nurses, they can make it when they're stuck at home and can't be at school because they're sick and so it's just a fun way for us to connect and then they inspire us of course by just their excitement and I don't, I don't think there's anything more fun than watching a kid create. Art is totally um, the perfect avenue for kids to just be able to unleash and go wherever they want to go and um, it gives them a chance to work within zero parameters. You know, give me the materials and just let me go. Mr. Andy came to my hospital room one day and I asked him, could I be an artist and now I'm here. Well, my experience with Sam was awesome. We both immediately bonded over sports. Um, he's a sports guy and I'm a sports girl and we decided to meet up at the football complex that my husband coaches at and so we walked and kind of toured the UAB football facility and that was fun just to kind of have that in common and he um, got to kind of see some behind the scenes stuff there and then we painted, actually painted a football player um, because I thought, you know, the symbolism of just athletes and the fact that they are resilient and they have to battle through adversity and they have to be tough and all those things um, remind me of him and, and how he's gone through um, his treatments with such a good, strong attitude. I did a football player because we go for Auburn and then, um, then if you look on his shoulder, there's a number four for my baseball team number. And one of the fun things that he wanted to add to his was his own baseball number. So he chose to add number four. That was one of the things that he got excited about and I thought was really creative that he wanted to add a four to his picture. And so we did that on the jersey and then that also inspired my piece to go ahead and do a, a big four. Um, so it may not be something that you see right off the bat, but you know, something that if you know is there kind of um, is a little bit of a symbol of, of Sam. My art teacher, Ms. Lauren, she taught me how to mix paint colors and do some cool stuff to it. Now, when I used to paint, I would just use like one color and then she taught me how to do a lot of stuff. When I first met Catherine, I didn't know a whole lot about her and she had a short period of time for us to work the first session. We had about an hour. And she was uh, headed to a church art club meeting of all things. <laughs> so I let, that let me know she had a real interest in art. Well, I was going to the doctor for like just a doctor's visit and then my doctor told my mom that she said I might have to go to the hospital, so I went to the hospital and I had cancer. When I started painting, I don't really know what I expected. I was just, excited about painting. Catherine is an artist. She has a God-given gift for it. She is confident, bold. She just uh, goes for it. And you ask her and she'll try anything. She's got a lot of maturity for her age and, and she's very thoughtful, but she's playful. She has a fun side. I have something called a port where they have to get this needle and it hurts when they access it. My end of treatment is October this year, October 28th and I started June two years ago, I think. And then at the end of treatment, um, my mom said I could get a kitten, and so I wanted to put a kitten in the tree. I got to thinking after that about the promise of the cat and how it encouraged her to go through the difficulty of the chemo treatment. It gave her something to look forward to. And I, I began to think about how powerful promises can be to us. God's promises are so much more powerful than the trials, the tribulations, the things that we face every day. I mean, it's just was a joy to work with. Um, well, when I was four, I was diagnosed with neuroblastoma. I did chemotherapy and radiation, and I had a, a stem cell transplant and a bone marrow transplant. It like damaged my lungs, and I had to 
have a lung transplant. I met Davis at my studio. Davis started off a little bit quiet, and then as we started to paint, I think we got to know each other a little better. And he got more comfortable making movements and breast strokes and playing with color to work with another person. And it was a fun process coming together to create with someone that you're meeting for the first time. That was the first time I had an experience like that. We were in the studio, she had like, she had a bunch of her paintings hanging up on the wall. And then we started, and we started doing like a landscape painting. And then we moved on to that one. And we just drew some lines. He really knew he wanted the colors that he wanted. It just felt very deliberate. He was very easy to work with. He was very receptive to my suggestions, but then also taking the painting you know, I thought like it really represents him. We briefly talked about what he had been through. Just hearing him talk about it, you can see that there were some hard times, but I felt like the strength that he showed in talking about it was something that really prevailed through our conversation. To be so young and to undergo those things and just to talk about it like that's just it. I really, I was impressed by that. It was really fun and meaningful to me since I had cancer and I can like, help other people that have cancer too that are going through the same thing as me. And Kenna did a sunset um, with her mom standing there on the beach. I thought, if this child at the age of two can go through three years of cancer treatments, surely I, as an artist, can get out of my comfort zone and try something new. Mr. Ryan, it's fine. Would you want to paint the beach? Because I love your mom. You love your mom. Kenna's bravery I kept thinking of her and all that she went through. I thought about an oyster. I kind of want to do something a little abstract. And in thinking of the oyster, the outer layer, as you see, is very rough and textured. That signifies, I think, the tough times that Kenna and her family went through during three years of cancer treatment. But Kenna's known for her bravery and her spunk and just this joyful spirit that she has. But then as you get to the inside, you see the color and the smoothness. And that's Kenna too with her bright, fun spirit through it all, through the hard times. This whole thing to me represents strength and beauty. And that's Kenna Paramore. She's the priceless pearl. So I was really excited when Andy asked me first to participate, but then also when I found out um, that he's a first grader, because that's what I do every day, it's my language, and so I was so excited. Um, Shep came in, he was a little nervous at first, he just was excited to get his hands on the paint and on the paintbrush. My piece with Shep that I painted with him, we did a series of four, um, one of his interests is um, Harry Potter. And so I thought, okay, if you like Harry Potter, we can draw on the colors from the schools or groups within uh, Harry Potter. And so, which was wonderful for Shep because he had a huge palette of watercolors and I think enjoyed being able to use a multitude of colors uh, and just went to town painting. Um, and so the four pieces, we did the four groups within the school. Uh, there's different things in, in Hogwarts like different schools in Hogwarts, like Slytherin and Hufflepuff, and that's all I know. The Creedence suit Slytherin. Well, it's special to be able to come in kind of on the back end um, and give him an opportunity to spend a little bit of time doing something that he enjoyed doing that was just for him. I told his mom afterwards, I said, he's so just he's calm and, and quiet and focused and she said and that's exactly how he was with his whole journey um, ins and outs with children's hospital and every other treatment and everything he's gone through he's been like that the entire time um, he's a mature little boy so cute and then you took me to the ER yeah and then what did they say they said I have cancer in your belly yeah did that make you sad or scared or you just, what did you feel like? Sad. But I can't, I can't imagine um, as a mom or a dad what you would feel and watch with your kid. Um, but I think, I think Shep is um, just testimony to blessings and miracles and, and the, the, um, 
how strong the nations are. You know, that he's, they've overcome and he is just a first grader at a school. Um, you know, his mom said he, he wants to do everything everybody else does, including roughhousing and the yard and everything else with his brother. So <laughs> that's, um, you know, that's just who he is. It's not the art, it's where the art leads me. And just like this phenomenal opportunity I've had to be a part of A-Team, I mean, that's what it's for, to, to bring glory to God and to encourage others.